What I did was I claimed the statue as a kind of a potential canvas for a political commentary. And so the essence of the piece was that John A. Macdonald has blood on his hands. And so I illustrated that by spraying his hands red and also having a small pool of red blood underneath the treaty in his hand there. So I uh, just wanted to bring the image full circle because I felt it didn't represent a complete truth about the history of Canada, especially the mistreatment of First Nations people throughout its history. And so I really wanted to bring to light the, the sad times that First Nations people are having at the expense of others, you know, uh, the consumer society that doesn't value treaty rights and their own personal way of living. Art is unto itself has a place in society and then it just becomes where it's placed you know, and in a public space, I think if it doesn't serve everyone's, everyone's purpose or everyone's uh, historical joy, I definitely think that there's a place for it, you know, like a museum or such, but um, it needs to be not promoted, you know, and get back to a time when we value uh, ourselves and community, where people's self-worth is above the money worth. I guess what I was hoping to bring to light is the importance of this message and how people pay lip service to these things, but really at the end of the day they haven't done anything different. For me it's a crucial conversation that we're not having in the public eye. And what I'd like to do is to bring this information into the light and we'll peg it in the legal system that way and then it can be a platform to discuss some important issues. So that, rather than just make it a anonymous kind of gesture in the night, you know,